Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm so excited because we will be unboxing my Chanel wallet on chain. So before we start, if you're a new subscriber, hi, my name is Sacred. I do luxury unboxings, reviews, travel videos. And if you're a returning subby, hi, welcome back. And please support me by hitting that subscribe button over there and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload videos like these. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so I just pre-filmed a unboxing of my classic Chanel wallet and chain. Here she is. Ta-da! In all its glory. Yes. And this is the back part. And what I noticed was the caviar. It's not the same caviar as my the caviar of my classic flop. This is a bit smoother. This is a little bit um, like rough but yeah I still like it because I think it's well made it's so cushiony so soft it's so puffy very subtle Chanel logo there and when you open it tada! it's the snap magnetic closure and I like it because they innovate it and they listen to their customers when some of the customers like said that the what do you call that the snap button like you have to aim it before you close it and the zipper over here always like falls off or even like protrudes here so yeah they listened and they changed it so i like it so this is like the bag it has a chanel logo here okay so this one is made in france and it is in the new microchip which is here Ta -da. and it is a fabric lining with a lambskin interior this part is in lambskin and it just says like made in france and the chain is quite um thin it's very dainty as compared to the medium flap but I noticed that the edges of the chain I don't know if you can see that it's not smooth I think it's just like cut I'm not really sure but it's different from my medium because look at the medium it's smooth and it's like folded Maybe because the wallet and chain is um, smaller and it's daintier. 
they cannot fold it anymore so that's why they just cut it and just put it on the chain I'm not sure so yeah it's very beautiful guys okay so the reason why I got this because I want a mini bag I remember there was an event and I have to use a formal bag I grabbed my Chanel medium flap but then again it was big and it didn't match the outfit it was too loud it's overpowering my outfit and I want a subtle beige color it's mini bag so I didn't got the beige because black is just my safe color but yeah I like this one even more because I can use it like casually I can dress it up or I can dress it down also this bag is very very versatile I also like it simply because it's very timeless okay so I also had a poll on Instagram my handle is purse Lux diaries I hope you will follow me there I had a poll because I was confused on getting the Louis Vuitton um, Palm Springs mini over this one this one won but yeah I also love the Louis Vuitton LV Palm Springs because of its practicality and it's a casual bag but I'm in love with this one because it's just simply timeless and I know that I can use this don't get me wrong I'm not a mini bag girl I always carry with me a lot I always carry with me the entire house if I may say from tape measures from makeup I got it all in my bag but I just want it to stay in the car so when I go out I just want to carry with me like a small bag it's reassuring to just bring everything and just put it in the car for emergency I will just put this in my tote and if I want to go somewhere I'm just gonna be bringing this one also I chose this one over the LV Palm Springs because of its resale value I know that LV is also increasing and this one is also increasing but I just have to get this and it's really true that once you get on with the Chanel game you can never stop you cannot stop I think I'm gravitating towards Chanel now over the LV I still love the Palm Springs mini maybe in the future I will be buying it because also my daughter loves it so also this one she kind of liked it when she saw it a lot of people are complaining about the very long chain I'm not complaining about it because of its versatility and I like how you can play with it my favorite um, thing to do when I play with it is just I cross it and there's just a little piece hanging and close the bag and the little piece will just dangle on the bag so it's like that so it's really cute and I don't know guys if your wallet on chain is also like this one I saw in a lot of videos that it's moving like this part is moving but on my Chanel wallet and chain it's like still it's not moving anywhere like if I do like that it's not moving maybe it's a good thing because the leather part over here the the very leather that is holding the chain won't get ruined that easily comment down below and you can comment down below if you want a comparison between the two I also got these like pair of thingies that you can purchase on Lazada or Shopee it's an adjuster adjuster of the chain so you can play around with the chains even more and I also got like a a chain strap what do you call this again a chain strap wrapper where you wrap your chain here and your bags get to be protected I got it from love my bags on Lazada I think or Shopee okay and I also got their base shaper so on wallet on chain base shaper is very important it's just like it has a cute heart over there but this one is so wide that I don't want to stretch my bags even more maybe I will be using this if my bag is already that stretched but I made one I just wrap it around with a felt a cardboard with a felt in it it's 
so you have to be innovative <laughs> on protecting your bags and this one also I like this one it is a bag scarf I was really really happy when I saw this one look because you can put your bag and protect your bag from scratching like in the car so maybe I will be carrying with me this one and I'm very very careful when I carry this one because I don't want to get it scratched because you know we spend a lot of our dime purchasing this one and I just want to take care of it even more I got this bag from a personal shopper called Bag Havens her old account was um, deactivated it was supposed to be Bag Haven but right now her new account is Bag Havens she's a reseller of like perfumes um, Sephora items and bags of course so I got it from her and I was quite surprised because it was really a good deal before the price increase I really got it and I have no regrets because this coming November 1st Chanel will increase again its prices and it's hard to acquire Chanel items anymore because they are limiting their stocks and it's like they have this policy of one bag per year like one classic flap and one cocoa flap per year and I don't know if this is included but I just had this source from a from a different reseller and she was having a hard time sourcing this one so yes and the on-hand items here in the Philippines from another resellers are so so expensive already that's why I grabbed the opportunity from Bag Havens and she was very very nice and very smooth transaction so yeah I think she has one piece left of this one I'm not sure you can message her on her Instagram so I decided to buy it brand new mainly because when I check the pre-love route the prices are insane the prices are still way way up and I remember I inquired and the price is above retail <laughs> I am very very happy I was able to get it below below the reseller's price here in the Philippines. The ones that I saw on the pre-love market are the ones that are still in the old version. And really I wanted to get the newer version of it because it's easier to use and it's easier to maintain. And I like the details of it. Plus it's the microchip version so I'm so happy. Overall, I really really like my bag and I think that I will be using this quite a lot than my classic flap. It's just so easy to use and I'm not that like intimidated to use it and yeah, I am just so so happy that I got this. So guys, thank you thank you so much for joining me on this video and for sticking around. I hope you will subscribe to my channel. Comment down below the videos you want to see on my channel and yeah thank you thank you guys so much for watching i know that i said in my last video that i will not be buying another bag but thank you so much for my husband for gifting this to me on our anniversary a part of the funds that i use for buying this one is his gift and a part of it was i sold one bag from my collection and guys i will see you on my next